but he's got the best pickup, got the best start, really attacked the sack right from the get-go. Remember, 275 pounds each, and as Phil pointed out, that is ankle-deep sand. And look, another great pickup for Louie. He has the second sack loaded by the time the other guys get theirs off the ground. Really efficient with the grab here, critical to this race. You don't want to waste a lot of energy fooling around, fumbling, just getting the sack off the ground. So the Canadian onto the fourth and final bag at 275 pounds. There's Josh Thigpen going back for his fourth. Meanwhile, in the middle, Khrushchev really having a problem with the third. These sacks are so incredibly tough, especially by the time you get to the third and fourth. And uh, Big Louie, he's lost his grip, Todd. Josh Thigpen, though, does not, and he places first. So Thigpen wins this heat. Meanwhile, Louis Philippe Jean just trying to get the fourth one on. He's got to take his hands off, and he finally does it 103 48. Meanwhile, Khrushchev, he's about done, but how about Josh Thigpen? What a performance. Yeah, it's like the classic case of the turtle and the hare. And Louis, that's really the essence of this event. He fell apart on the fourth sack. But not the case for Josh Thigpen. The American puts up a time of 54.13. He is our leader, and we're off and running at Wingate. So here we go, four sacks, each one weighing 275 pounds, and it's Mike Jenkins out to the early lead. Incredibly efficient picking up the first sack and the second sack. There you see the mark to beat put up by fellow American Josh Thigpen, 54.13, but it is Mike Jenkins that is just absolutely blistering this course, and Zadrunas Savic is finding himself in a bit of trouble here. Jenkins has a good sprint back to each sack to really make up the time there. Oh, he has to regrip a little bit with the fourth one, but still keeping it really close to the body, transferring the load to the hips. Very efficient. And he gets it done in a time of 40.98. He wins the heat, the competition as well. More importantly, he beats the Drunas Savickas. But we're not sure what's going on with Frampton. He managed only two sacks. Mike Jenkins, though, with the fastest time, 40.98. He wins the loading race. And as we said, he takes away points from Zadruna Savickas, who has to settle for second place. And more importantly, Rob Frampton being attended to. We're hoping that he can continue on in the competition with this being the first event of six. At nearly 300 pounds, these sacks are a great test, even for our most accomplished champions. However, it's the newcomer who shines. He is with Bill Kazma. Mike, that's not a bad debut at World's Strongest Man, taking down the two-time champion Zadrina Savickas in this event. Uh, just like you said, this event, so I have five more, but I'll take any points I can get. You look like you floated so easily across that sand, almost like a butterfly. Was it that easy? You made it look simple. I wouldn't say it was simple. A uh, pretty big butterfly. Um, so, but, you know, I turned my cardio up a lot in training, so I felt really good. Great job. Keep it up. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. American Mike Jenkins wins the loading race and gets the six points towards his overall total. The two-time defending champion, Zadruna Savickas, has to settle for second. The other American, Josh Thigpen, grabs third. The USA, Mike Jenkins. So fresh off his victory in the loading race, here is American Mike Jenkins looking for another victory. Now remember, the first kegs, the white ones, they weigh 40 pounds. That wall, 16 feet, and Big Mike, Phil, has no problem. He is really amazing. First time ever at World's Strongest Man. Now the red tags, those are 50 pounders. And the first miss for Jenkins. Great recovery. Now he's onto the 55 pounders, so the 28 year old from Hershey, Pennsylvania, starting to slow down just a bit. And he's experimented with a couple of different grips on the seventh keg. It looks like his posterior chain is really fried. It's not fresh, it's not explosive anymore, and he says that's enough. So six kegs for Mike Jenkins, and that becomes the mark to beat. He was really rock solid with those first six. He tried a different grip on keg number seven. I'm not sure that was a good idea. Second attempt, keg seven, original grip, doesn't work either. Here he is, the two-time defending champion, Zadrunas Savickas. After three consecutive runner-up finishes in the 2000s, Zadrunas Savickas finally won that first title in 2009, and then he won again last year. Poland's Marius Pujanowski owns the most titles in World's Strongest Man history with five, 
and then a pair of Icelanders. John Paul Sigmarsson and Magnus von Magnusson each own four. Their own Bill Kazmaier's won three times. So here we go with Zdrunas Savickas, the two-time defending champion. And right off the bat, he is doing work. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Zdrunas Savickas onto the last two kegs. Those weigh 55 pounds each, and he's done it. What do you say? I'm speechless. All eight kegs in a time of 19.42 seconds for the big Z. You know, the very last throw looked every bit as strong as the very first throw. This guy showing how dynamic he really is as an athlete. And he's standing by with Bill Kazmaier. Zadrunas, monster effort. I think a couple of the barrels were in the air at the same time. I very like this event. And uh, today I was uh, not so fast. I try to do like medium time, but it, 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 it was good. Was that a reaction to your performance in the first event to overcome? First event, very hard for big body weight, and it was hard for me, but I was very happy with second place. But now it's coming uh, much better events for me. Great power, nice job. Thank you. The Drus of Vegas may be a gentle giant, but he just unleashed a furious assault on the kegs. American Josh Thigpen will try to counter when the Metrics World's Strongest Man returns. Please welcome from the USA, Josh. Remember, he finished third in the loading race, but here he is on the keg toss. He will have the heart rate monitor on. His max heart rate fill is 199 beats per minute in this event. We'll certainly get you there. Our leader, Zadrudis Zavikas, all eight kegs in under 20 seconds. Fast and efficient, Phil. He said he wanted to compete with the best of the best, and he's doing it, Todd. And check out the heart rate. He's on pace to match Zadrudis, or maybe even beat him. And his first miss comes on the last keg. Awesome recovery, great job. Won't quite match the Vickers, but a fantastic performance. All eight kegs. His time, 27.70 seconds. Aggressive quick tempo the whole way through. It allowed him to stay fresh and explosive, and that was enough for him to recover and do a second successful throw with number eight. So this takes us to our final competitor here in the keg toss. This is Alexander Klusjev. Remember, he finished fifth in a loading race, so time for him to make up some ground. He's got a lot of work to throw all eight kegs in the Big Pen and Zadrunas. The 27-year-old police officer from Russia taking his time here. Now, this is a little bit of a different strategy here, very methodical. Well, this is a great strategy, but there's one problem. If you don't go wide open and be aggressive with these things, the posterior chain starts to tire over time. And what you end up attempting to do are eight single lifts rather than one giant set of eight. And he has a problem on the seventh one. Remember, that's 55 pounds. It's full of lead shot. You can hear it in there rattling around, which makes it kind of cumbersome to get that up and over the 16-foot wall. Great recovery with keg number seven. Second attempt there, successful. Well, by getting the seventh keg over, Phil, he's already locked up third place, so that's good for him, but he's got about 12 more seconds to get this eighth keg over. You know, it was a great strategy, great management of his resources, but that low back is just way too shot. No fresh explosiveness left when you don't take an aggressive, Wide open strategy like Josh and Zadrunas. Zadrunas Savigas is your winner and a tremendous performance for him. All eight kegs in under 20 seconds. Josh Thigpen right behind him in second place, and there's Klusjev in third. So after two events, it is the two time defending champion Zadrunas Savigas on top with 11 points. Josh Thigpen in second, and Mike Jenkins in third.